There's no mincing words on the state of Adelaide's city restaurants. Extremely tough. It's been devastating. Government stimulus has been promised, but easing restrictions won't guarantee that customers return. Consumer confidence is really, really low and um, people aren't out in the CBD, you know, and we're not even feeling the capacity that we have. It is safe to go back to hospitality. We want to thank the people working in that area for keeping their patrons and their staff safe. Authorities believe it's safe enough that from midnight indoor business capacity will double to 50%. QR codes will be removed from most retailers, but remain in higher risk sites like healthcare. And non-elective surgeries will gradually return, starting with children's procedures. The government's modelling predicts a slight reduction in cases, even with the relaxed rules. And that will give us, I think, further confidence uh, to further uh, make reductions in restrictions in the coming weeks. There's also confidence to scale back the use of QR codes. The ease of being able to walk in and out of uh, those you know, short transaction locations without having to QR will be a, a bit of relief for people. Five more South Australians have died from COVID-19. 285 people remain in hospital. 24 patients are in ICU, including four on ventilators. There were 1,846 new cases. It's 50 days until South Australia votes, and Liberal MP Nick McBride has reportedly told a South East Council meeting covered by the Border Watch that Stephen Marshall wanted the problems in January. Nothing like that in March. I don't think any South Australian believes that politics should be playing a role in such a critical public policy question, and now the government has to explain themselves. And it has. It's about the whole New Year perspective and what our, our school going back and everything else. So it's and it's not and it wasn't just about March. To suggest that we might have uh, changed the entire national agenda and the Doherty Institute modelling to suit our political outcomes, I think, is well, quite frankly, preposterous. The government says it will review the state's COVID restrictions once a fortnight. Tom Fedorovich, ABC News, Adelaide.